did really well in his initial assessment out in the country. The perfect reaction. It's like, yeah, yeah he's OK. Yeah, like, whatever. Rick is going to be in New Orleans for a few days, and that means we have time to actually get Louis ready and see how he does with Rick. I guess then you want to bring Jordan in and kind of show us some stuff sure. in a more controlled environment. We can do that. Um, I asked Rick to bring out his dog, Jordan, and show Mariah and Tanya what his service dog can do to be able to keep out an eye for any potential candidates that we have for the future. Yeah, I mean, we've done some therapy English. training. Oh my gosh. Give a good boy. <laughs> yeah, oh. Jordan was just an old rescue dog that someone didn't want. And to look at him now and see what he's doing. Jordan, brace. And to think that this is something that, you know, Louie could be doing in the future, it is very inspiring. He pushes back, yeah. If I fall, I can get to a kneeling position. I can use him to stand up the rest of the way. Since Rick specializes in training dogs for people with physical mobility issues, we'll put him up and then we'll bring Louie out. There are some very strict physical requirements that any potential service dog has to have. You do. I oh, believe. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah. I know. Definitely Look, happy about I, life. What? I think he's going to be great. Next step is we need to get him to the veterinarian, have hips x-rayed. Mm -hmm. They're going to x-ray his hips and elbows. Specifically, the hips are what I'm looking for. And that's going to tell us if he has good hips, then we're going to be able to work with him. So we'll get Louie to the vet to have his hips and all of his joints x-rayed. All right, thank you Sounds so good. much. Thanks, guys. Bye, Rick. And if all goes well, he will become the first Villalobos certified service dog. Another dog that I would really, really, really like to push getting a home that mommy agreed. I need to get Carmela a home. Mars is going, I'm showing a dog next week. I got an application for Louie, even though. He's, I mean, yeah, we've been trying to get Louie a home for ever, and it never works out. And I think it's really funny that now that we found him like a service dog job, we got an amazing application for him. Of course, she found him on our website right when he got the chance to become a service dog. Yeah, this woman lives in Baton Rouge. Really? Yeah, it's local. She has a really dog-friendly apartment complex. I think she's going to law school. Jeez. Yeah, she wants a really playful dog, actually. She wants to take him to the lake and dog-friendly restaurants. OK, so Louie. <laughs> we can keep her mind, because it's a really good application, so. Yeah, I'll try and think of some other dogs for him. Sadly, we have to tell this adopter that Louie is no longer up for adoption. But we have tons of other dogs, so hopefully we can find her a dog that she clicks with. I'm gonna go. All right, toodaloo. Come here, let me fix your leash. Louie, come here. Goofy butt. Most of the time, like yesterday, trips to the vet are kind of stressful. Hey. How are you? So I'm hoping today's will be a little bit more fun. All we need is to confirm that Louis is in perfect health, and then he can go off to doggy boot camp to start his service dog training. Hi. It can be really difficult to get a black dog adopted out, so Louis getting this opportunity is really exciting. Oh, you're goofy. His brain is being stimulated, he gets to help people, and he has fun while he's doing it. On top of all of that, Louis gets a home also. <laughs> In my eyes, this would be the best position for Louie. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, big boy. What you doing? What's going on with him today? This guy wants to adopt him because he does service dog training. Any dog that can potentially do that, their hips have to be really good. OK. And if there's any inclination that their hips they have hip problems, they can't do it. Yeah. Louis is going to be a service dog, so we need to make sure that all of his joints, his hips and his elbows and everything were OK, because those are the most important joints. They're going to take a lot of the load if they're helping somebody up. All right, you ready? Oh, what a good boy. You sleepy yet? I hope, hope his hips are good. The elbows are usually OK, but the hips are always a dicey. Hips often can be an issue, especially in, in the bigger dogs, Labradors for sure. 
perfect. Hoping that his body is gonna be great and his hips are gonna be good, but I'm nervous, of course, because that is the make or break for him being able to do this. So, not kinda what I expected. Um, hips are good. Elbow, one of his elbows is not. I don't know. Louie did have some arthritis and should be okay as he gets older. He might have a little arthritis and discomfort, but he's just not gonna be able to have a 100-pound person push up on him. You see this right here? Yeah. Oh. You see the difference? I see it. And so, you know, they do put a lot of pressure on that inside of that medial aspect right there. And so, um, you know, he's got already a little change. So it might not be a major issue as far as him walking and being comfortable. He might develop arthritis later on, but as far as being a service dog, though, he's not a candidate. You know, I just wasn't expecting that, but no, you know, that's what you do. It. Yeah. So sorry. Okay. This whole thing was like going 100 miles an hour and then just slamming on the brakes. Not only was one of our dogs getting a home, he got to be a service dog. So it was like everything we could wish for, and then the brakes got slammed on. 